hit fourth, fourth gear, uh, back down to third because I don't think I'm going to pull this hill. All right, everyone, this is Rambo145. This is a uh, part three, I think, or something of the log hauling. So we're going to haul this little bit of, we're going to go, we're pulling straight in here. We're going to try to get another load of logs here. Right now, I don't have it locked in. I just have the differentials. But then again, I have my foot just barely resting on the foot pedal, gas pedal. Right, I'm going to go ahead and lock it in because we're going to need it. There's no point in making big ruts when we can keep from it or try to keep from it. So we're hauling without the little, uh, whatever you want to call that. Log trailer. I don't know what you call that. Alright. I guess I have to position this just right. Alright. Here we go. Alright, so we have short logs. Logs. Load logs, short. I'm not sure what that does. Just do it that way, I guess. That's only two points. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. Oh, I need two points. Duh. I think, right? Way down here, yeah, no, yep, yep, we need two points. Alright, cool. Alright, so let's get out of here. Hopefully we make it out of here without tipping our truck. It's pretty rough. Uh, the more you run on it, the worse it gets. We do second gear here. All right, so I have full all-wheel drive off. I just have the differentials locked. Should be the two back axles, if that's right. I think I'm right. Let that mud fly off before we hit the main highway. And we don't want to shift it down in third again. Alright. So this truck gets pretty good fuel mileage. Of course, I, I have quite a... Well, I, it doesn't really get that great. But, I mean... It, it's, uh... Considering... That I'm... I have 3,000 liter tank. Right here. We just have the differentials locked. Okay. Uh, I thought we were going to flip it there for a second. That would have been bad. Oh, see if we can drown our truck out going across here. I could probably went in third and through here, but nah, I don't think I don't think I'll keep it. It's going pretty good in second. Uh. I don't know if I can do a third gear. Try it here. Second dog's pretty good on the in the mud, but let's see what third does here. Hit fourth, fourth gear. Uh, back down to third because. I don't think I'm going to pull this hill with it in this mud with this load. Pretty sure I'm not. Oh, 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 this is a rough thing here. Talk about an 
axle snapper right there or a hub buster. <laughs> How to do it. Getting second. Make a left right here. See, I'm getting pretty used to the level now. Oh. Messed myself up. I tried shifting third. I guess second's about as good as it's going to get for through here. I think I go straight across. I'm going to pull a big trailer next, an actual semi-trailer, hopefully, we'll see how it works. I probably should have done that first, <laughs> then did this load last, doing everything backwards. Alright, make a left out here, go down by the fuel station here, actually we're going to go ahead and just refuel. We're in third gear pulling this. This is pretty good. All right. It's a good way to snap a U joint or a uh, a yoke. And drive lines. I broke a few yokes. I've had a little play in the U joints, and you, the whole drive shaft just rattled. Like you could just let, like, give a little gas and go. And one time I got on it on my Ford and it just blink snapped that off. So now it has 19, like the 90 Ford has 1956 or 57 parts from a Ford on it because <laughs> I couldn't find none, and I didn't want to pay a bunch of money for a new one. And I was working at a printing place at the time. And I was, that's all I was doing. I was just working. Oh. My bad. That was embarrassing. Can't believe I did that. Forgot to use a clutch. Anyway, I was needing to work. Go to work, so. My dad changed it because I was sleeping because I was doing like... 12 hour days for about seven days a week. I mean, I was pulling really good money. I was doing over $700 a week in a factory. And I was only getting $8.50 an hour, $8.53 an hour. I was pretty much tired. I'd eat Subway every day. I'd stop there. And I actually, oh, I'd go there every day and they would, uh, as soon as I see my truck, they'd have my sandwich made because I'd order the same thing. Uh, turkey meat. White turkey, American cheese, and pepperoni with uh, banana peppers and spicy brown mustard, and some pickles and lettuce and black olives, and white bread. And I didn't really care about anything else because I don't think they had the flat bread then. Uh, but yeah, that was cool. They're like, I was, I'd seen a line like, your sandwich is over here. <laughs> I had this one girl, she's like, you must be rich buying Subway. It was like $6. Depends how they rung it up. Rung it up for sausage or pepperoni or something. It would be a different price. It'd save you like a dollar or something. It's like $7 or $6. Like 6 to $7 a day for... But I would eat like... Like I'd eat half of it. My one first break or second break or something. Can we get 10 minute breaks? Like three 10 minute breaks or something. So my last one... Or unless I work 12 hours. My last one. Uh, see, 9 o'clock, I think it was my last break at night. I was, uh, I would eat my other half a sub sandwich that actually lasted me like $5 for the whole, you know, except for my vending machine stuff. But, so, and then I would have to get, you know, some stuff. I wouldn't eat nothing out of the machines. I did that one time. 
and uh, I got sick. I gave away like a $15 pizza because I was like, I, I, I'm even hungry. <laughs> All right, let's offload this. All right, yeah, that stick was even doing a dance. All right, so we might as well just uh, hook on this trailer and take it back with us. Cause we're gonna be pulling a semi next. All right, semi trailer, log trailer. I'm gonna do a road tractor. I'm not even sure where this trailer's at. There it is. Oh. There we go. Hook that bad boy up. All right. Go ahead and turn this thing around and go ahead and go to the... <laughs> that was a dead tree. This thing just crumbled. I like that. They're doing really good on this game. I'm going to go back and grab uh, the fifth wheel hitch dilly on the truck and grab the semi-trailer, I think. Lock it back in here. Oh. That's why I wasn't going. I think I had like fifth gear or fourth gear or something. I don't remember. There we go. Second to do it pretty good. Get through all this mud. Try to do a third gear. I don't know if I can do it in third. We'll, we'll see here. It's really random. There we go. Well, back in the mud again. <laughs> I was like, no mud, yay! Am I going the right way? Yes, I am. Just right around the bend here. Oh, that was... That was touchy there. Yeah, they have other maps. I might try another map. I gotta figure out how to install the maps. I ain't real good on this. Spin tires. <sighs> Had to yawn again. This is early working, man. These diesels about put you to sleep, too. Alright, so it's right up here. Let's get out of this mud. <laughs> miss that gear. I actually didn't really miss it. I just didn't get it in there. There we go. I think we're over here. Yep, we're over this way. Alright, cool. Now, we're going to get a fifth wheel hitch. Alright, so now let's go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, this one. Uh, let's, okay, so now we need to get a tractor. There we go. Now let's get... That's a mid-low trailer. It's a... 
Uh, log cart. Maybe I can't do it? Let's uninstall this. I don't know how to, I don't know where my uninstall thing's at. There we go. Alright, so we have... Uh, Alright. There we go. Not real sure what that did for me. Alright, so you have to have your own hitch thing. There we go. Alright, let's see what this thing looks like. We're going to pull this trailer next, I think. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Whatever floats its boat, I guess. So, anyway, uh, this is Rambo145. Uh, we're going to do this one next, so hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Thanks, and bye.